Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Tuesday. Well, I was hoping to come down here and not see the signs on for the red tide, but nope. We are still feeling the effects of red tide. Unfortunately. As I walk out on the beach here, I'm greeted by the sights of dead fish, a dead eel, a dead crab. So sad. So, so sad. The red tide has still got its grip on us. And this is, this is what all the little birds eat, these little fish here. This is what we see swimming in schools all along the shore. Now these guys are dying. What a shame. There's a dead toadfish right there. What a way to start a beach walk, huh? On red tide. It's so pretty out here. Still got the colors of sunrise. Darn it. When is this red tide gonna go away? We had a pretty good easterly wind yesterday. I thought it was gonna move a little bit away from us, a little offshore. I do see some crabs still crawling around, these little dark spots. Let's walk up the beach here. I do see something rather nice up there. Ugh. Darn. More death on the beach. I really was expecting things to be getting better today, not worse. We have not seen any dolphins now. I don't know, I think last Monday, maybe Tuesday was the last time we saw dolphins. During my beach walk anyway. Lots and lots of crabs out in the water. All these little dark spots are little blue crabs. There's some over here. You can see them up here. These are all blue crabs out in the water, but unfortunately, they're eating the dead fish, the fish that have been killed by red tide, the toxic fish. And this is what happens to them. They're winding up dead on the beach. So sad. And then there's one of the flounder. We've been seeing a lot of these little flounders, these little baby flounder fish. Seeing them dead on the beach as well. Ugh. Crabs, dead crabs of all sizes, little babies. Lots and lots of little baby crabs dead on the beach. Terrible. Not a very pleasant sight. And I'm just, I mean, when we start seeing, I forget what you call these little fish. This is what the, when you see the fishermen throwing their cast nets out along the shore, this is what they're catching. They use these for bait. And this is what 
all the little wading birds, you see them, this is what they're trying to catch, these little guys. And these are just washing up all along the shoreline now. Uh, so there goes the food chain. So sad. Right now it's those fish and crabs. We've seen some eels. Eels, sea snakes. A little sea snake there dead on the beach. It's starting to see more and more dead crabs on the beach now. Terrible. Look at this. Three. Three nice sized blue crabs just piled up dead on the beach. Well, believe it or not, there's still some beauty to behold here. Look ahead of us. What do we see this morning? Two great blue herons. Two beautiful great blue herons. There still is a little beauty to behold even amidst all this death on the beach. I hope those guys don't get sick eating these darn fish swimming around here. That's the last thing I want to see on the beach is a dead great blue heron. got a big, big fish he's eating. Oh no, he's eating an eel. The one up the beach is eating, actually eating an eel. Yeah. There's crabs everywhere. Dead crabs all over the beach this morning. Now we're up in the south end of area three, or, <clears throat> excuse me, area four. We started at the north end of area three. Beautiful, beautiful birds, these great blue herons. The sun hasn't come up over the trees. Still, still pretty dark here. You can't see their beautiful colors. Beautiful birds, though. Huh. I guess he had enough of me. He just flew up the beach a little ways, and there's a second one right up here. Raccoons, raccoon tracks all the way down here by the beach. See them all down here. Raccoons have been down sniffing around all the dead animals here, the dead fish and crabs. That's not good for them to eat either. 
anything that eats this these toxic fish or toxic crabs is going to get sick for sure. It's not a good sign here. Oh, this is just piles of dead, little baby dead crabs and fish. Piles of them here. Seeing the dead flounders on the beach. The little dead flounder fish. There's another one. I've seen quite a few of them. There's one right down there. Boy. Yesterday when I felt that wind, that breeze blowing coming out of the east, I thought we were going to be in better shape this morning, but... Sure doesn't look like that way. Big feather on the beach. It's a good place to come and find feathers too, early in the morning. Not just shells. You can find a little bit of everything. Feathers, shells, dead crabs, dead eels, dead fish. Ugh. There's a piece of a big moon shell down here. A nautica. Looks like a piece of a nautica shell. Looks like our park rangers got their hands full again, cleaning up the beach. Darn it. You can see that sun has not popped up over the trees yet. Still behind the trees. Still a little dark out here on the beach. I see a couple people owed way down to the south, down in area one. More crabs out here in the water. There's one right there. There's a couple more just out in the shadows. In a little deeper water. It's a pretty nice little size little blue crab there. You can see though that water is still brown. A school, a little school of fish coming along here. Little tiny ones. Still some life out there in the water. Our great blue heron. Oh my goodness. There's two great blue herons here. I see a third one. It looks like a third one, a little further up the beach.
the great blue herons. Absolutely magnificent birds. Just walking the beach here, keeping its distance from me. Stretch your neck out. There's a little snowy egret just came into view there on the left. Keep walking. We're going to see another heron here in a minute. There's a second great blue on the left. Two great blue herons and a little snowy egret in the background. The snowy egret just took off. And I do believe, off in the distance, there's another great blue heron. Kind of hard to see that dark spot out there in the water, right in the center of the screen. Oh, sorry about that. Trying to keep an eye open here for some shells as I'm walking along. It's kind of a mess with all the little dead crabs and fish here. Darn it. Another. There's another, a little leopard crab again. We saw one of these little leopard crabs yesterday on the beach. Also called a calico crab. Not moving. Not much movement. I'm sure it's dying. Such a sad sight, these beautiful little calico crabs. I never realized we had so many of them out here. It's slowly dying. Poisoned by the red tide. So, so sad. All these little dead fish. Dead blue crabs. Dead crabs everywhere. This is not good. Not good, not good. Look at this. Look at all these little fish. Another, another calico crab, just slowly dying here. I think this one's gone. Not getting any movement out of it. So sad to see these beautiful creatures dying on our beaches. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, over here next to it. A little baby. A little baby leopard crab. Dead on the beach. How sad. 
How darn sad. I'm starting to have my doubts if our beach is ever going to return to normal. Why is this red tide so persistent? Oh my gosh, another little leopard crab. A little baby, another little tiny leopard crab. This is the most I have ever seen out here on the beach. All dying, dead and dying. So, so sad. Not a pretty sight out here this morning, folks. Not a pretty sight. I'd like to know what it looks like to the south of us, down towards the pier. If, it's, if it looks like this, if it's any better, if it's any worse. Oh, just terrible. These darn herons are eating eels in front of me. Sea snakes. Just the one up in front is actually eating an eel. God, I hope they don't get sick. Just horrible out here this morning. Absolutely horrible. Look out here in the water. It's all dead, little dead fish. Oh, little dead fish just floating out there in the water. Disgusting. Sad and disgusting both. Look at that. That's all dead fish. And they're just washing up on the beach here. There's piles of them. And then right underneath them, look at that. There's a huge school of fish swimming right underneath them. See that dark, those little dark things? That's all fish. That's a little school of fish swimming underneath the dead ones. How long before they're dead on the beach? Looks like a little black cloud. That's all little fish.
Here comes more. Hmm. That's definitely an unusual sight. Dead fish floating on top and all the live little fish swimming underneath. Wow. Huh. What a mix. If I can get these birds lined up here, give you a look at them. There's three great blue herons there, three in a row. You can see the one in the background there. Remember yesterday morning I said I saw three out here? Well, I wasn't lying, here they are. All three of the great blue herons. There's actually some, looks like some seagulls behind the great blue heron from up on the sandbar back there, just coming in. Well, there's still some life out here. That's a good sign. A bit of sunlight hitting the beach out there in the background just starting to make its way up over the trees I wonder if these guys are related Such a beautiful morning and then just having it spoiled by this red tide. It's terrible. I haven't heard any ospreys. Yesterday morning we saw quite a few ospreys. That was fun. You can see the sun just peeking through the trees over here. See that little a little glint there just behind the trees just getting ready to come up clear clear skies here this morning clear blue sky breeze is kicking in now 
Right now it's at my back, which is good. Hopefully it's gonna keep coming from the east. herons that looks like they're going to take the shortcut cut across the beach up here <laughs> two great blue herons walking across the beach oh, it's a much nicer sight than the dead fish and crabs that are lining the beach Dead catfish down there, little catfish. Son of a gun. I just saw a dolphin. Let's see if it comes up again. I just saw a dolphin surface out here. See him? One dolphin. Slowly making its way north. Let's see if it comes up again. There he is. Oh, maybe a couple of them. Where did you go? You see him out there? There you go. Hey, dolphins, yay. It's been a while. There you are, two of them. Hallelujah, our luck is changing. Where'd you go? It's hard guessing how fast they're swimming here when I'm zoomed in. Where did you guys go? Uh, we lost them. I think they swam out. They're going out into deeper water. But anyway, we got a brief sighting of some dolphins there. Wow. That always makes the morning a little better. It's been a while since we've seen them. It's nice to know they're still out there. I do not see them now. I don't know where they went. Oh yeah, I see them. They're way, way out there now. Yep, they're pretty far out. Well, that was cool. We got to see some dolphins. Thank you, Lord. I was really starting to wonder if they abandoned us or not.
lots of little birds. Lots of little birds here. They're all pecking at the crabs. Oh, the dolphins. I don't think I'm gonna be able to zoom in that far. I just saw them leaping around out there. Let's see if we spot them again. They kind of blend into that dark blue. It's Where did you go? They were out there, just jumping around. Between me and that boat out there, that kayak, whatever it is, I just saw one pop up. It's really hard to see them in this dark. Yeah, they're, it's hard to see them out there. They're way out there now. There. Good news. They're here. It'd be nice if they came in and put on a little show for us. These little birds are just pecking at the dead crabs and stuff. There's a dead toad fish down there on the beach. Oh. A little life out here. herons are just kind of meandering slowly up the beach here. I don't know if you can see them. There's three of them over here. Three great blue herons just slowly walking up the beach. Just, just staying ahead of me. little sandpiper there just a little tiny one I don't know if you can see it there right up on the top Oop, just running away there scurrying around hey Look what I found, a banded tulip shell. Yes, nice little shell. Not going home with empty pockets again this morning, a nice little banded tulip shell. Very cool. It's got a little chip in it, but I'll keep it. I'll take it, a little banded tulip. How nice. A little worm shell down there. Lots of little worm shells on the beach this morning. Lots of little worm shells. A great blue one of the great blue herons. All three of them are kind of right around here. There's one right here. You can see the other one in the background. And the other one's over here to the left. Beautiful, beautiful great blue herons. We'll try something here.
cannot get my phone to zoom in. I don't know what's going on here. I updated the operating system and now it's not very responsive. It only lets me zoom one time and then it stops. There it goes. There's two of the herons. Absolutely gorgeous. Just kind of resting there. Beautiful birds. Very majestic birds. And the other one's just slowly, methodically over here walking along. Over here on the left. Barely moving. What gorgeous creatures. They are so beautiful, those blue herons. I just saw a moon shell down here somewhere. I saw a beautiful scallop shell and a moon shell down here. That's what that scallop looks like. Look at that scallop shell. Interesting colors. Very cool colors. And then over here, I saw a moon shell peeking up at me. See it? A shark eye. We also call them a shark eye. A moon shell, also called a shark eye. That's a pretty nice one. That's cool. So I got that and a little banded tulip this morning. It's gonna be kind of a short beach walk here. Well, I wish I had my nice camera out here now to take some pictures of these blue herons. Oh, the lighting is just incredible on this one that's closest to us. Absolutely incredible. That beautiful backlight. Hey, another little banded tulip shell. Very cool. Two banded tulips so far this morning. That's great. And I'm not really looking for shells. <laughs> I was more interested in these three great blue herons out here. Oh, there goes one of them. And there goes the second one. It's like they're on their way up the beach. Darn it. This is a smaller one still here. Just a little bit of a smaller one. Isn't that lighting absolutely gorgeous there. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful bird, the great blue heron. Gosh, if I had my nice camera here, I could get some beautiful pictures. We got to see three of them this morning. Very, very lucky. It's nice to know they're here at the park. Nice to know they chose Del Norwegians for their winter residence. Let's 
right, get a little closer and get a picture of that guy. I don't think it's gonna happen. Staring me down here. No, I don't want to scare it away. I want to just finish checking out this little ridge over here. See if there's any more shells. Earlier, we saw a couple dolphins swim by. Thankfully, thank goodness. We saw a couple dolphins this morning. Always, always a treat to see the dolphins. Sadly, the red tide's still here. We're dealing with dead crabs, dead fish. Saw some dead eels earlier. Some dead crabs down here. There's a dead eel over there. Still having to deal with the dead marine life on the beach. Dead and dying. The water is not very pretty. Pretty gross. We did see some fish swimming around in it. We've seen some crabs running around. Nothing you want to go swimming in, that's for sure. If you do wade into the water, be sure to shower off, wash off thoroughly. Oh no. This makes me so sad. These are my favorite little crabs. I think this is the fourth or fifth one we've seen. Dead or dying on the beach this morning. Not much move movement here. Just about gone, unfortunately. This little leopard crab. Such a beautiful, beautiful crab. The calico crabs, the leopard crabs. We've seen several of these. There's a little movement, but not much. He's on his way out. So sad. Moving a little bit, but dying, slowly dying. They're suffocating. It is so sad seeing all these little animals die. And there's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. Poor little thing. Another dead eel up on the beach. Dead or dying. I'm not gonna pick that up. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Those shells are so beautiful on those crabs. Here's what's left of another one that washed up and died. Hmm. Horrible. And then we see these sites like these beautiful blue herons. Three of them this morning. That was a real treat. A real treat seeing them out here this morning. The great blue heron.
Gorgeous bird right there. Absolutely gorgeous. We got to watch three of them walk up the beach this morning. They kind of walked along with me. We did see a couple dolphins. We got to look at some dolphins out there this morning swimming by, so we know the dolphins are still out there. feathers. Can I zoom in a little more? Oops. I guess not. <laughs> Damn, this iPhone is just acting up. Ever since the new update. I cannot get the screen to respond. I'll look at him for just a minute here. So majestic. Yeah, there's plenty of videos you can watch to see how Roy's doing here. There's really no changes from day to day. He's just, his leg is slowly healing, he's doing fine. If there's any bad news, I'll let you know. You can give anybody that wants to give Roy a call, you're welcome to call him and talk to him too. He doesn't have a private number. Just Google Roy Hazy, Roy H A A S E, H A A S E, in Naples, Florida. You'll find his phone number. He enjoys talking to people on the phone. And if you live in the area, he's always open to visitors. I've posted his address numerous times now on my Facebook page for everybody. Same place you send the cards to. He's always happy to get visitors, and he's been getting a lot of them. Not an overwhelming amount, but a fair share. Well, that heron's on its way. Such a beautiful bird. As it heads up the beach on this beautiful, look at that sky, this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning. Area four, Roy's pine trees right there. <laughs> One of these days he'll be back to share some stories with me on the beach like the good old days. So looking forward to his return. I have a feeling Roy is not going to comply with his doctor's orders about staying away from the beach, unfortunately. 
or driving. You really should not be driving. Look at how blue it is out there this morning, man. It's just awful that we're dealing with this red tide. You can actually see the brown in the water. It's just the sky is so blue, it's making the water look blue. But when you get up close to it, you see the ugly brown, the reddish brown from the red tide. There's a really good breeze now coming from behind me blowing out into the gulf. So hopefully it's gonna blow it away. But as I come closer here, see how the water changes color? You can really, really see the reddish, the red color of that algae here. It's not as noticeable when you look out into the gulf you look out there, it looks beautiful. When you get right up to the edge of the water and look at it, it's not so beautiful. Not beautiful at all. I get moving along here. We have come across piles of little dead fish on the beach. We have seen quite a few dead crabs on the beach. Lots of dead blue crabs on the beach. Lots of them this morning, unfortunately. Dead crabs, dead eels, dead fish. There's a dying eel right down here. It's half buried. They bury themselves in the sand tail first. That's about a third of it sticking out there, maybe a little more than a third. I mean, we have seen some nice things this morning. I found a couple nice shells. We saw three beautiful great blue herons this morning walking up the beach, three of them. It's kind of funny, yesterday I said that we had three out here, that I had seen three, and this morning we saw them all together. That was really cool. We saw some dolphins, that was fun. Didn't see them for very long. You probably saw them come up maybe four times, four or five times. Two dolphins out and swimming down, swimming up to the north. So that's good news. The dolphins are still here. They haven't left because of the red tide yet. Haven't seen any other people out here at the beach. Out here all by myself. All these little dead, I don't know what you call them. These are the little fish that swim along the shore here. This is what the fishermen toss their cast nets out, cast nets out for and use for bait. We've seen a lot of these dead on the beach, a lot of them washed up on the beach. Also big pockets of them floating out in the water. You can see a few out here, the little silver specks. If I zoom in here, maybe you'll... Yeah. The camera's not going to let me zoom in. If you look close, you can see them floating out there. 
those little white things, that's all the little dead fish in the water. Not a great beach day, that's for sure. When's this, when's this round of red tide gonna blow away? <laughs> When's the next one coming in? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look at all these, look at all these fish on the beach. And over here, look at this. Terrible, 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 terrible. All these fish, they just kind of collect in little pockets. All these dead fish. And they just slowly wash up on the beach as the tide comes in. Look at them all. It's horrible. This is not good. This is the fish that all the birds, all of our beautiful shore birds, this is what they eat. Really, really sad. Mad out here on the beach. We've seen some beautiful things this morning. We've seen some sad things this morning. The saddest things are, to me, are these beautiful little leopard crabs that we see on the beach. Beautiful little leopard crabs just dying, dead and dying. Here's another. We've seen several of these. These beautiful little leopard crabs just slowly dying, suffocating out here. There's a little baby, just a little baby calico, slowly dying. Still got a little life left in them. Not much though. Normally they'd be putting up a good fight when you pick them up. <sighs> Those are my favorite little crabs to see on the beach. See, here's another one over here dying, another crab. Barely moving. A little life, a little life in it, but not much. So sad.
Well, not, not a pleasant beach walk this morning, folks. Sorry. Nothing I can do about that. I just kind of tell it like it is, show you like it is. Even with all the dead fish, there's still some pretty things out here. Look at that beautiful little scallop. like all over the place. Dead crabs, dead fish, dead eels. Beautiful blue crabs. Beautiful blue crabs. Here's one. Here's a blue crab dying. A couple of them dying here. This one looks like it's that's a female laden with eggs. Slowly dying. A little baby one behind it. Making its last stand here. So sad. So, so sad. Everything. Slowly dying. Either already dead or slowly dying. And putting any of these animals, these little creatures, back in the water isn't going to do it any good. Nice little scallop shell. It's a beautiful little scallop. And we look out in the water and there's quite a few crabs running around out here. There's these two little dark spots out here. Those are blue crabs. They're still alive. I don't know how much longer they've got to go. There's a lot of little fish swimming around here. But look at the color of that water. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. Definitely not the kind of water I want to be swimming in. Well, not one, not one soul passed us this morning on the beach. I saw a couple people down to the south, but I did not see one person walk by us on the beach this morning. This red tide is just killing our beaches. I'm not thrilled about bringing you this news, showing you this, these conditions, but it's my belief that if you don't see it, you don't know about it. It's a lot different when you see it up close and personal than when you read about it or hear about it on the news. And then when you live with it every day, it's a lot different. Sometimes it gets really blown out of proportion too. There's a lot of wrong facts out there about red tide. There's a lot of opinions. All these, all these little bumps on the beach, these are dead crabs. All these little bumps you see up along here, those are dead blue crabs. 
scattered along the beach. There's one that's kind of on its way. Still got a little life. Doesn't have any pinchers. It lost its claws. It was crawling along. Oh, it just spit at me. Ha! Wow. That one's on its way, sadly. You can see the more crabs along the beach, some little dead fish. I mean, all sizes of crabs. I mean, look at them all. All dead. Just piles of little dead crabs. And sadly, they're going to keep washing up. As they eat these, as they eat the dead fish, they're gonna slowly come washing up. Here's a flounder on the beach. This flounder is still alive, gasping for air. A little flounder, it's not gonna live. I'll put it in the water, but there's really no point. That's that's a little flounder fish. And it's his, it's as good as dead. Oh. There's a Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna survive. They're just gonna wash up on the beach. There's another one. There's a whole bunch of them washing up on the beach. There's one right down here. I don't know if you can see it. Dead down there. Those are little flounder crabs. There's dead crabs. Gonna wash up on the beach. See them down there? So sad. And look at that filthy water. Ugh. Lots of dead flounders. I see lots of dead flounder fish here. Lots of them. All those little white white spots out there in the water. All out here, that's dead flounder, little baby flounder. And the dead crabs, everywhere, the dead crabs, dead blue crabs, terrible. It's horrible. So many flounder right here. This is area three. This is uh, the north end of area three. So many flounder floating in here. They're hard to see. The little white things out there. That's the bottom of the flounder. Oh. It's terrible. All the little fish. Not a great morning for a beach walk, huh? Look at the color of that water. Absolutely horrific. Now I'm gonna wrap it up here for this morning. I gotta get rolling. Sorry to bring you such bad news. What it's all about it's the circle of life here as i always say nobody pays me to be out here if anybody wants to make a little contribution it's always appreciated every little bit helps goes towards paying the phone bill and whatnot it's not required or expected but it's always a pleasant little surprise when somebody contributes you can find my paypal account info in the description of this post
at the conclusion of this live feed. You know, look at, look at the sky. And it's just beautiful here. And then you think about what's out here in the water. It's just horrible. Horrible, horrible. Dead fish just floating out here in the water. What are we going to do about it? Is there anything we can do about it? Probably not. Well, thanks for watching, wherever you might be watching from. I know we got friends all around the world watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all my photos and videos here. There are some really beautiful, beautiful things to look at. It's not just all ugly, dead marine life. Well, we've had some wonderful beach walks. And hopefully those wonderful mornings will return. We'll get our friend Roy back out here on the beach with us. Tell some stories, play his harmonica for us, get back to the good old days, the way it used to be. Well, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.